Good morning, my dear students. Today I am going to start a new chapter that is Internet Services. Okay? So, children, please open your book and look at page number 103. Okay? Have a look. Internet is a global network of computers. You all know Internet is a global network of computers. So, network means Internet is linked with different computers. Okay? So that whatever uh, information that we are going to access through computer can be accessed with the help of internet. Okay. So computers are connected to each other using wired or wireless technologies. So today we use internet with the help of wire network or with, without the wire network that is called wireless. Okay. Or in a simple word, we call it a Wi-Fi connections which we are using today. So once connected, each computer act as a storage of information. So once your computers are connected to internet, that computer will act as a storage. Why it is called storage? Because when your computer is connected or your mobile phone is connected to internet, whatever information that you search will be search or will be saved in your computer that's why it is known as the storage okay hence a global system is formed to share information the internet grows daily with more and more information added to this computer so every day you will get more and more information in internet because the people the programmer who are designing a war uh, who are making these web pages will keep on adding information every day so there is no limitations to internet that every day you will be getting every new information whatever you are looking for and it's not that only one person can look or only one person can search the information it's not like that people around the world that's why it's called a global network people all over the world can access to any kind of information that you are they are looking for okay so the internet grows daily as i told you the internet it grows daily the information grows daily information you will, you will get information to every new information every day so millions of users can use any of these computers to connect to internet so millions and millions of people are connected with the help of internet they can now view and share information through internet connections so a children in a simple word let me make it clear like today you are getting information through uh, your whatsapp or you're getting lessons through whatsapp uh, uh, through youtube it's all because you have an internet connection in your computer or in your mobile phones since you have an internet connection you are able to access any kind of lessons that has been posted from school you will get the information okay so let me discuss a brief history. Let me give you a brief history of internet. Even before the 1960s, a general concept of internet existed. Okay? In 1960, that time also a general concept of what is internet. Okay? What does internet do? That concept was there in 1960s also, but that concept was implemented. Okay? That was designed later by the British. Uh, sorry, not British, Defense Department, okay, Defense Department of United States of America, they designed later in 1969, and they came up with a project known as ARPANET, which is called Advanced Research Project Agency Network, ARPANET, they came up and designed this uh, a package or a kind of a, um, uh, it's a package only, they came up with this idea, and which is later known as the internet okay so ARPANET utilizes packet switching for its operation and it involves sending data in small units so what was the concept the concept was to make a package and to, and to send those information in a small package to small unit or within one kind of organizations they have designed with ARPANET the defense department was able to connect multiple independent network so later in 1983 a new communication protocol helped the internet to become a global network so as i told you in 
1969, the concept was there. What was the concept? They designed a package where they can send a small unit of information within the organization. So in later in 1983, they designed a new communication protocol, okay, which is known as TCP IP. They came up with that and they have connected okay, to internet to become a global network. So today, with global means it's all over the world, whatever information you are accessing and from wherever you are accessing, you can uh, access using internet. Okay? Any kind of information are available using internet. Now, let's discuss ways to connect to the internet. Okay? With the advancement of technology, you can access the internet easily to various devices. Like some of the some of the ways or some of the steps to connect to internet, I don't have to tell you because you people are very much familiar using internet in your mobile phone, in your computer, laptop, because you know how to connect it, okay? But there are other ways also to connect to internet. The first way of connecting internet is the dial-up connection. So what is this dial-up connection? So in a dial-up connection, it allows to connect your computer to internet over a telephone line. So for this type of connection, we need a telephone line. We need a computer, we need a telephone line, the telephone line and we need a modem. The modem will help us to convert the signals, okay, analog to digital and digital to analog, okay, the signals. So that is known as the dialog connection. So if you have your book, if you are looking at your book, please have a look at page number 104. Here so you can see the picture of a digital signals modem and the internet, okay. The, the, this modem will help us to change the signal, okay, to analog and digital, okay. That is called a dialog connection. And next connection is known as the broadband connection. So broadband connections are specially used in a big, big organizations and schools and all, okay, universities and all. This kind of uh, connections are used. The broadband internet services offer one of the most popular methods of connecting to internet. In a big organization and in universities and all, we need a strong internet connection because we have to work totally through internet. So we need a strong internet connection. Our mobile data internet will not help us to work in big organizations. So there we need a broadband connection. Okay? So it allows you to transmit data at higher access speeds than the dial-up connection. So dial-up connections are specially used at home where we don't need that uh, access speed. But if you are working in an organization, if it's a university, if it's a hospital, if it's in a mall and all, we need a strong access internet connection. That's why we prefer to get broadband connections. Okay? Now comes DSL, Digital Subscriber Line. Digital Subscriber Line helps you to connect to the internet through an existing phone line. Here a cable modem is used to receive signal. So if you have an existing telephone line, you will have to put one cable which helps you to get internet signals. Okay? The modem then connects with the network card installed in the computer. So if you have a computer, you can install one network card and with the help of that network card you have to use a cable to connect to internet okay hence you simply require a, trad a traditional hardwired phone line and a router that is used to transmit data you just need a telephone line and a router to connect to internet but for that for this digital subscriber line you have to install one network card in your computer okay this is one way now comes the cable broadband. Cable broadband services are often offered by the local cable TV providers. So nowadays children, you all know that the cable TVs are also providing uh, internet, okay? If you have a cable line connection at home, you can ask them for internet connection also. I don't know whether these facilities are there in, uh, in your area in Kalimpong or not, but in other parts, in other areas, you can get internet connection uh, using from your cable operators also. So you just need to add one cable. Cable TV lines are used in data transmissions. These has these have the same coaxial wiring as those transmitting TV signals. These have these uh, this kind of uh, connection also have a same kind of cable that are used for your TV. Okay, and it can transfer up to 152 Mbps of data. You can use computer internet. Uh, 
through your cable TV operator at home also. For that, you just need to add an external data. Uh, sorry, cable, cable wire. Okay. Now comes the satellite connection. A satellite connection is a slowest form of broadband connection. It is quite slow because satellite means when uh, when the weather is not good, when there is um, heavy rainfall, then your uh, connections might get disturbed okay so it's quite slow and such a connection is possible due to transmission of satellite TV signals these signals connect a computer to the internet it uses a satellite dish to connect to the satellite but here we don't use satellite TV internet connections because we need a dish okay we need a dish to get the signal through satellite now the most common and the most important and the most used form of connection is the wireless connection. A wireless internet connection involves the use of radio frequency bands to transmit data signals. Wireless connections offer very high speed of internet. So we need a very high speed of internet to access data. If you want to access data, uh, then we need a very, very good internet connection which is known as the wireless connection or we call it a Wi-Fi connection. This represents one of the most popular method of accessing the internet today. So today, we are using each and every one of us are using internet with the help of wireless connection. Okay, and as you all know, when you are connecting to wireless connection, you have to install a set of box at home, and with the help of a set of box, your phone. Okay, if you are using, if you are, if there are five users at your home. Each and every user can connect to internet using Wi-Fi and there you don't need any kind of cable, okay? So, and the speed of this, accessing speed of internet in a Wi-Fi is also very, very good. So today, each one of us, every one of us are connecting to Wi-Fi network, okay? Now, this mobile internet. You all know mobile internet. For mobile internet, what you have to do? You just have to recharge with certain amount right you have to recharge your internet service provider which is your Airtel, Vodafone, Geo you just need to uh, recharge it with certain amount uh, once you recharge once it gets recharged you will get the mobile internet connections mobile data connections which we use it in our everyday life okay so with the help of a mobile internet connections we can use whatsapp and we can use a social net a networking site like facebook Viber, Instagram and all we can use using internet, mobile internet connection. It allows the smartphone users to connect to internet using the ISP of this mobile network. So mobile internet net network can be used only in the smartphone. So the smartphone gives a facility to use this kind of mobile internet connection. And for that you need to recharge. As I told you, internet service provider, you have to see your SIM card, okay? If it's Airtel, if it's Vodafone, if it's Geo, you have to see the internet service provider, then you have to recharge it accordingly because there are certain plans okay for one month you have to pay a certain amount for 28 days you have to pay a certain amount for 15 days or sometimes for one or two days also you can get recharged to use your mobile data package okay now comes the hotspot is a wireless internet connection provided for a short distance it can be established between two mobile phones or one mobile phones and computer system hotspots are also very very important children because like suppose you have a two mobile phone at home okay your father's phone and your mother's phone and sometimes you people are using two phones okay to access data sometimes what happens like if your father's mobile internet service provider's uh, recharge date expires then you you won't be able to get internet connection that time what you do is you just need to use a wi-fi connection using a hotspot from your mother's phone that means your mother phones mother can give a hotspot connection to five people okay five people at a time but the distance should be nearby okay so hotspot connections gets internet signals if you are staying at the same place that's called a hotspot connection that is also possible okay so the internet connection that is one way so these are the ways to connect to internet okay so children please just see if you have an internet connections at home just let me know which type of connections you all have at home and just write it down in your copy that i am using or i am my uh, mom is using this internet service 
at home and this is my uh, internet connection you just find out and write up in your copy and later on i'll ask you what kind of internet connections you all are using at home okay children so in my next class i will discuss the netiquettes okay netiquettes means some of the etiquettes behaviors that are there when you are using an internet connection because since internet is a global network as i told you it's a global network people around the world are using internet so you have to be very very careful when you are using or when you are accessing information in an internet so there are certain limitation advantages and disadvantages when you are using internet so in my next class i will discuss what are these advantages and disadvantages which is known as the netiquettes okay of internet i will discuss in my next class thank you class Thank uh you. -huh.